It is pretty cool. Pretty Last neat. time you got to see us go from sticks and stuff to plywood template. Now watch as we build the actual stringers, butter them up, glass them in, and have a little fun along the way. Here we go again. Tag team, back again. Check it, Ricky. Let's begin. We're going to do some grinding, bitches. Who wants to grind? Get low with it. If you recall, last time we were a little stumped by a single stringer insert that would not fit. So after a little brainstorming and Brandon input, it was decided to cut the inserts into two pieces, leaving the most advantageous structural support. While the templates were very close, a couple of them needed a little bit of shaving. Why they trusted Video Annie with a power tool to do this, I can't tell you. But once we had them seated snugly, it was time to break out the hardcore material. That's right, Kusa. We were going back with high density foam. It's essentially fiberglass and foam, real fun to cut. But soon, we had our first stringer in. That Kusa wasn't cheap though. Let me tell Philip it's 2000 a sheet for this. <laughs> I'm going to tell him that. That stuff there that's got the water saturation in it, it's actually 2500 a sheet. It's half the thickness. Nice, because it's more fancy, right? No, no, it's the brand of that. Yeah. I'm surprised at two grand a sheet they would let Video Annie hack away at it. I tried to give you some real cool saw action here. But, minus just a few jagged edges that Russ had to fix, by the end of the day we had complete stringer cavities built, fit in the slot, and passed Brandon's inspection. And then it was time for this first mate to play tag team as Philip clocked in the next day to help glass up the pieces. Fiberglass sandwiched in between there. Everything looking good to go. We'll let this dry and then uh, start putting her in there tomorrow. Everything was good. Great report, Captain. Until I heard this on the playback. A team crew over here today, except for our first mate. She's uh, slacking on the job this morning. Must be drinking coffee and playing the ukulele. Uh huh. Let the jabs begin. <laughs> you gotta put that boy to work, man. Oh, he was on his phone quite a bit, too. Yeah, he was on his phone. He burned up. Y'all need to compliment him on wearing boat yard appropriate clothes. Boat yard appropriate clothes? Yeah. Good. He didn't wear his suit and tie. His fancy shoes. I don't know if has to show up on the reason. I'm not gonna tell him this shit when I get home, alright? Melee goes the sensitive thing. I look good. Clearly we like to play a little while we work, but I was about to start a very messy job. Alright, I'm gonna grind all this shit up in here. Brandon said I gotta do to this black line and get the 
tray off. That's what I'm gonna do. Y'all ready for this? Clearly, I was enjoying the power tools. <laughs> Once we had clean fiberglass to lay up to and big pieces to work with, it was now time to do what Brandon called butter up. Once all the buttering and oozing was done, then it was... Day five on the job, kids. We are fiberglassing today. All cut out, ready to go. Planned out, laid out. This is our station. Russ did a fantastic job of precisely preparing and cutting all of the fiberglass we would need for the job. He then showed me how to wet up the pieces and hand them over, and then this fiberglass first mate was on her own as we set into the job. And this was Russ's idea, but we did have a lot of fun putting a little tattoo on the boat. Can you read it? And pretty soon our new Kusa stringers were all glassed up. Four layers, each tabbed, and I'll let you guess. How many pieces of fiberglass do you think we put in? Like in the videos? Awesome! Go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board! Shit, though. He's a really bad filmer. <laughs> That's what we put in our boat. And it's $2,000 a sheet, Philip.